saying that there was some kind of voter irregularity when the Republican supervisor of election kept saying from day one, we checked the signatures, there's no fraud. This man right here goes and gets the council to pass an erroneous resolution to get the FBI and the Florida Department of Law Enforcement to come in and do an investigation and go door to door to people's house, scared the living hell out of them. And now he sits here today and talk about absentee ballots. Well, what he doesn't tell you, as I told Senator McCurdy Ross last night, go look at his financial disclosure that he just filed. He paid Lorenzo Thigpen, who used to help us, $6,666. What did he pay him to do that? He brought this guy in from Alaska. He brought some other people in to do it. You know what they're doing? They're going out, collecting absentee ballots. But I spoke with the elections office. I've consulted with the attorney. It's illegal in the state of Florida to pay people to go and get absentee ballots. But that's exactly what he's doing. Please, when Anthony please Thomas allow him to out, finish. Can we get his church members to be quiet, please? Now, when Anthony Thomas went out and collected absentee ballots for Christine Matthews and for Tara Watson, I wasn't paid. You can have unpaid volunteers going out getting absentee ballots. What you cannot do is have paid people. And he's paying that man over there $6,666 on a $20,000 contract to go out and get absentee ballots at the same time he's asking the Republican Attorney General to give them a legal opinion on how to discriminate against you and disenfranchise you. Shame on you, Johnny Scott. Thank you, Anthony. <laughs> Councilman Streets. First of all, I... Uh, I'm proud of how I serve my people. And I don't serve by using innuendos or tags. I just do what you ask me to do and get it done. All right. I don't use lies. I don't attack anybody. Mm -hmm. People know what I've done and they know what I continue to do. That's right. As I say, let the work I've done speak for me. And I'll tell you another old song. And I am no ways tired. Right. I don't believe they brought me this far to leave me now, Mr. Thomas. And you can criticize or, or call me anything you want. That doesn't bother me. Back to what you were saying. What about the murders? That's your mantra you brought in. So let's stick with that. Everybody or every dime that has been donated to me is worth it to keep this city going. You've been funded by polluters. You are But, you know, uh, you have to keep it. Keep it real. Keep it real. You had your opportunity. Well, we're, we're, we're moving forward in what needs to be done in this city. Uh, that's why we have transparency. You can go and see who did what for who. You know, I, I don't know what he's doing because that's not what I'm worried about. I'm worried about representing our people for now and in the future. That, I'm not going to get into a debate about he say, she say, or who's doing this. But, 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 but you know, it's funny. You took money from those same people. <laughs> <laughs> so, see, you know, let's... Anthony, allow him to finish, please. Well, well, the thing of it is, you you did that, Anthony. I mean, if if you if you're gonna lie now, what will you do on the council? <laughs> This ain't nothing to play with. This, this is this is nothing to play with. This this is serious. These are people we're talking about. This is where true when 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 our authority is challenged, we stand up. We don't back down, but we're truthful about it. And it's about character. See, you, you don't understand that because see some of the same stuff. Towns in the streets. About, if you could wrap up, please. I used to take you to school because you didn't go. <laughs> don't talk to me. Right. Stephen. Your opportunity to answer the question. <laughs> well, I guess who needs Donald Trump on Fox News, huh? <laughs> yeah, the city of Fort Myers. <laughs> this has been very uh, interesting for me. Um, as a business owner, I started out developing and figuring out how to work, run a campaign. And when I started looking at myself and what I wanted to accomplish, I looked and I said, I want to run a very good, thorough political campaign. And I want to show the people of Ward 2, the people of Fort Myers, that the person that they can rep that can represent them can run a well-organized campaign. And for someone that has been involved in small business his whole life, it's been really hard asking for money. 
I've never experienced that before. I seem to going and calling people that I know and um, asking for assistance on funding the campaign, but I know it was necessary in order to get information out to people. I'm sure many of you as voters have received the information that I put out in the mail so that you knew exactly the type of person that I am and what I'm trying to place on the platform. And then knocking on every door that I can possibly get to throughout the morning, throughout the afternoon, and as soon as we're done here, going right back out and knocking on the doors the old fashioned way when it comes to running a campaign and shaking hands and talking to people, listening to people and trying to understand. But most importantly, trying to be as transparent as possible. Letting you know, do a Google search of me. There's 20 pages, pictures, articles, videos, whatever you need to find out about me and you can understand me as a person and that's what I've been trying to get across in the campaign. Because the people, the person you vote for is, as what Councilman Street Sport says, it's about the people, but the person you vote for is a person as well. And like I told both of these in an earlier conversation, I'm not going to talk about you. Because I have a mother, and so do you. Steven, if you could wrap up, And I, I want to make sure that I respect that you have family and you have a mother, and that we run a campaign addressing the issues, addressing policies, and letting people know exactly who I am as a person. Thank you. Anthony, it's your question for rebuttal. One thing you can count on with, with uh, Sarge is because of, you know, he talks about taking me to school. Well, you were being paid by the house authority to take me and other people to school, so you did your job. Do you want a cookie? So this idea that he still won't address, is he paying this guy $6,666 to go out and collect absentee ballots? Yes or no? It's Bruce Grayhorn who has helped him raise over $18,000 in his campaign. Is he being funded by the polluters? He talks about transparency. If you go and look on the city website, you can clearly see who's giving him money. Look at the addresses on the people who've given him money. None of his money is coming out of the Dunbar community. Not true. Yes, it is. It's coming from polluters, Bruce Strayhorn, and others. So if you want to talk about something, let's have a debate. I don't mind uh, having a debate. But if you want to sit here and tell these people a bunch of lies, then we can talk about that too. And I say again, I believe you're a person of no intent. And you're not worthy to have this office, and that's why I'm running. Thank you, Anthony. We're going to uh, get to a few of the questions that you have submitted in order to get to maybe a couple more. We're going to eliminate the rebuttal for, for this question, just have the candidates. Uh, answer them, and I'm turning this over to Cindy McCurry-Ross. Cindy. Thank you. So the first question that we have from the audience um, that I can't read because I don't have my glasses on. Um, this comes from uh, young Mr. Douglas, who is 17 years old, and it says, an excellent way of getting the youth to promote change and productivity is to allow active teen leaders to work and collaborate with the council. How can you incorporate teen leaders within your quest for change in the city? Very good question. Thank you, young man, for being here tonight. And what your city has done, we have created a teen council uh, for you to be involved in. We have always had uh, youth involved in our city to listen to their ideas. I, I, you know, we always ask our young folk, but particularly I do, what is it that you need in your community that will perhaps, perhaps get you a better education and keep you from the avenues of crime? And they talk about street lights, they talk about, you know, uh, teachers, they talk about all of these things, they talk about recreation. So we, we encourage youth participation. Uh, our youth program, even in the police department, we have Explorer program, back to the thing about PAL, you know, we're not doing as well as I would like for them to do, but I argue at that point that we will do that. So when, when we created something many years ago, uh, we created a group many, many years ago that still works today called Teams Speak Out. 
We don't want to come into your community to tell you what you should be doing. We want to hear from you and we work collaborative. Even addressing the problem of being leaders themselves. Education, work hard, obey your parents. What's the problems in the community? Let us know, let your parents know, get them involved. All of those things are very important because they are our future, folks. And I say sometimes now, the future is now. So we need to make sure that they are encouraged to go to school. Like you said, you know, I said, he said, well, that's your job. You're being taken, taking them, taking them to school. Well, I said, put me out of a job. But that was done from my heart because there's not a program around here now that does that. The program, it was a choice of program. There's no such thing as a child missing the bus. We partnered with the Lee County School District. And that's another thing. We reached across the aisles to get other agencies involved because this was bigger than us. Thank you, Councilman. Cindy, is it the same format, two minutes or one minute? Yeah, we're, gonna, we're gonna do two minutes for this one because I didn't announce a change. And then for the next, so we can get more questions in, we're gonna go to 90 seconds. Super. Uh, because it's not a controversial question, is are, are you so are you here, the young man? Excellent question. First and foremost, that for someone like you, as I met you downstairs and you stood there, and I know a lot of it has come from your parents and what Mr. Muhammad and the program here, because obviously you're here at this program, you're, 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 you're helping us enter the door, and that's what all communities are about. And you are an absolute model. I didn't have a chance to tell you because I was nervous coming in here like anybody else would be, and I was thinking about myself, I was, I, I was in my own moment. But I didn't have the chance to tell you that you are the pride of what this community should be, should look like, act like, and talk like. You are exactly that, and I, I knew it as 